I look for a sled. I don't know if I really like this. I don't know if I like that style. Nineteen ninety-seven. I think I'm gonna go with this one. That ought to work. Let's go with that one. I don't like these other ones. Okay, let's go. Not a lot of grass in New Mexico. It's pretty rocky. Liam, we're here. in the world is marker 44 now well we'll go back a little bit a couple hours and I'll show you guys where we're at White Sands National Monument that's where we're at first time here by the uh, White Sands Missile Testing Area. So our plan is just to come out here and see it, wander around a little bit and do some sledding. And then we brought lunch. We'll have lunch in the picnic area. Those look like professional photographers over there. Yeah. They have like a, they have a thing for the sun. Filming right, something. Yeah. You want to go on top of this one maybe and get up high? Too steep? Well, I don't know if you can cross over right there. Maybe on that side. Okay. Looks like most people go up right here. Okay. Think you can do it? Yeah. Okay. You want me to hold Chanel? I feel like a I feel like a pack mule hauling all this gear. I got backpack, camera bag, lunch. <laughs> Man, this is pretty steep. It's hard when you can't use your hands. <laughs> Every time you step, you slide backwards. 
Yeah, I'm not going that far. <laughs> How would you describe this place? Amazing. Amazing. That's right. Pretty. Yeah. Pretty. Nice. When you see the videos and stuff on YouTube, you're pretty amazed by some of the footage people have on there and everything. And when you first get out here, it kind of gradually gets more and more sandy. And once you get inside the park, it is pretty amazing when you see the all the sand just goes on forever, it seems like. Come on, Liam, we'll go on this side. Okay. <laughs> so how about when your mom visits? Is this some place you might want to consider bringing your mom? Yeah. Yeah? She would enjoy. She might enjoy this more than the Grand Canyon. This place definitely would be more fun for kids because of the playing in the sand and doing the sledding and all that. So we may bring Cecile's mom out here. If she's able to get her tourist visa come visit the U.S. This would be the kind of place we want to take her. We were thinking maybe here or the Grand Canyon. So we drove out from Oklahoma City. Uh, we stopped in Santa Rosa for one night or two nights. How many nights in Santa Rosa? Two. Two nights in Santa Rosa. <laughs> I already forgot. Um, and we did some swimming and stuff there touring around if you guys haven't seen that video uh, we went and visited the blue hole did some swimming there in Santa Rosa that was a pretty fun time and then we came down uh, to Las Cruces and we went to the Veterans Memorial Park we wanted to visit the Bataan Memorial death there march. the death march yeah death march Liam got it we wanted to visit the death march memorial there and show you guys the park and everything that was there. And then today we're out here at White Sands National Park. Uh, that was kind of the main purpose of our trip was to come out here and see this place. So we're here today just hanging out and having a good time. Yeah. So hang out with us. We'll have a fun day. <laughs> Get closer to the edge before you try to start. Put your feet down. Put your feet down. Put your feet forward. Put your feet forward. Liam, lay your feet, lay your legs flat. There you go. There you go. Hop back on. Yeah. You made it. You did better than Liam. You stayed on the sled. <laughs> Mommy stayed on the sled. How oh, you getting good now? Okay, I think this is the first time anybody's ever gone down this slope with a GoPro and an iPhone. One, two, three, go! Making oh, history. <laughs> I made it! I did let's, it! Let's do it! Let's do it! I have to do it! You guys setting up camp? You setting up camp? Make a hole for the umbrella. How's that? Stay in place? Yeah. Alright, I think we're good. We got some shade now. Yeah. You have to lay down to get under there, but Try to not get sunburned. If mom gets too much sun, she can lay down there. Yes. Yeah, the sun is out. Just in case we get sunburned. It's still pretty cool though. Yeah. Just a little bit of wind 
and I think it's about 70 today. Oh, kind of feels like we're on Mars or the moon or something. Yeah. Because all you see is white sand and then the sky. Yeah, but Strange feeling. Just in Texas. New Mexico. New Mexico. And this is the ocean bin. This used to be a sea. Yeah. And then when it disappeared, it left behind all this sand. They call this gypsum sand. sand. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's almost like sugar. Yeah, all the looks like sand. But it's like, very, very, very small grains of sand. Very kind of powdery, but it's got a little bit of weight to it. Also looks like... Hard to walk in. Yeah, also looks like uh, snow. Yeah, it looks like snow when you see yeah, it on the camera. When you're just out here looking, you'd think it was snow. What'd you do? Fall asleep in the sand? No! Somebody buried you? hard taking kids pictures. Yeah, it's where's kind the of a desert. Base? The military base, it's back over the other direction a little bit. Oh. Military base and the missile range nearby but not too close. <laughs> yeah, all those far. Sometimes they close the park and they close the highway out in front of the park when they're doing missile testing. Yeah, but today they're not. They gotta always test and you always gotta be ready. Yeah. You never know when someone might attack. Just yeah. like Pearl like Harbor. The Germany and also the Japanese. Mm -hmm. You never know. Yeah, and yeah. You gotta keep an eye on those Canadians too, they're awful close. Yeah. You gotta be ready. <laughs> How do you know Canadians are nice? friend of ours. Also Philippines. Yeah, Philippines is our friend. Also French. France? Yeah. yeah, also our friend. Our and friend? also, oh, no, no. And also friends. friends, your cousin. Yeah. <laughs> you guys look a little bit too comfortable. I always try to include a little bit of drone footage in my videos. But unfortunately, I don't have a drone, so I'm going to improvise, use my GoPro. <laughs>
Okay, it looks like the desert. Mm -hmm. And now there's the ghost here. It looks like a desert. Wow. walk back up here and see what's happening up here at the campsite <laughs> I think we're getting ready to go eat lunch pretty soon over at the picnic area you guys getting hungry for lunch yet a little bit I can tell them we'll be worn out at the end of the day walking in this sand hard to get your footing <laughs> a little bit hard to climb up here off to the picnic area follow the sled trail What's this kid doing snow sledding in shorts <laughs> and throwing sand balls? <laughs> That's really cool, like same way you chunk your brakes. Yeah. Sure looks like snow. We got Mexico. I can highly recommend it. It's a very unique place. 
see how much sand I got in my shoes here. I knew it. <laughs> I could feel it. That's both shoes full of sand. Don't dig all the way to China or Philippines. If you dig straight through, you'll end up in China. Digging? Yeah. What's the project? What are you trying to make? What if Chanel pees there? You gonna be mad? <laughs> oh, you keep digging while mom's filming the sunset. Yeah. Am I in your shot? <laughs> well, everybody, the sun is about to set on another episode of Marker 44. So we'll wrap this up. Uh, I'll get out of the way and show you guys the sunset here in a minute. But thanks for watching everybody. Take care. See you on the next video. I'm getting close now. And I can hear the thunder in the background. <laughs> Getting ready to get wet. Ah! And I'm still digging. You no. hear the thunder, Liam? Yeah. Ah!